What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are doing a massive Sephora haul. This is probably the biggest haul I've ever done from Sephora at one time. I got so many things. I actually picked most of this stuff up at the savings event in November, but if you missed that savings event, don't worry because they are having another one, which I am so excited about. I want to thank Sephora so much for partnering with me to let you guys know that they are having the Sephora Beauty for All event. You can get 20% off of your purchase. It's their first ever like non-tiered sale. So if you're Rouge, Beauty Inside or whatever, you can shop this sale. 20% off. So a really great time to pick up holiday gifts, gifts for yourself, gifts for your friends, family, or just stock up on some of your favorite products. And they'll also have 30% off of Sephora collection as well. So I'm very, very excited. I'll have a link down below where you guys can shop and I will link all the products that I talk about today. Without further ado, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have this big box like sitting here below me with everything. I got so much stuff. I don't even really know where to start. I did a good mix too, like I did makeup, skincare, and hair stuff. And I even got a candle also. So let's go ahead and get started this first product that I got. This is the Olaplex number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. This stuff is very good. I love this. I have gone through, I think like two or three of these already. So I picked up another one. It is so good. This specifically is a mask, so I do not use this every single time I shower. I would say I use it maybe every two to three weeks, and I just put it through my damp hair and let it sit on my hair for like 20 to 30 minutes. You don't want to wash it out too soon. I think the actual... It says leave on for 10 minutes here, so up to you. And it makes my hair super soft, and I really think this makes a difference, so I love it. So I grabbed another one. I wish they just made this in like a giant tub that I could just like buy and have because it is smaller. You only get 3.3 fluid ounces, so, but it is good, and you really don't need a ton of it either, which is nice, so grabbed that. Also, speaking of Olaplex, I grabbed this, which is new from them. This is the Olaplex Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo, so they just came out with a purple shampoo, which I thought was pretty cool. I like their regular shampoo. I always switch up my shampoo shampoos and conditioners and use different stuff. But I do love a good purple shampoo. They're definitely hard to come by. Like not all purple shampoos are the same. So hopefully this one's good. I heard really good things. My hair stylist said it was really good. So that's why I picked it up. And this is just the Olaplex number no. four P blonde enhancing toning shampoo. So grab that as well. Okay, let's switch gears to some makeup. So I got this from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I've heard such good things about this. Never tried it. I got the shade 5.5 neutral. Hopefully that works for me. I have just been loving Charlotte Tilbury's products this year. Like her stuff is so good. The vast majority of the things I've tried from the brand I've really liked. So I wanted to give the foundation a try. Very nice packaging, nice little pump here. So I can use this in like a testing new products video, even though this isn't a new foundation, it's new to me. Um, so I can definitely use it in a video coming up. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But it's supposed to give a really beautiful like airbrush look to the face and be really long lasting. So sounds like something I would like. So grab that. Next, also for complexion, I got two products from One Size, which is Patrick Starr's brand. I've heard really good things about his powder. So I got the Ultimate Setting Powder. And I got this in the shade One Translucent. So it just looks like this, super cute packaging. And I figured I could use this to like set my under eye area, like kind to see how it works. I actually really love the packaging on this. It's really nice. So I grabbed that, but then I also got this, which this is the Turn Up the Base Versatile Foundation Powder. So technically this is a foundation powder. I like to use a lot of times foundation powder to set all over my face, like my whole face, if I want to add a little bit more coverage. So I got this in shade Light 5. Sometimes it can be hard to buy complexion products online because um, I didn't order this stuff online, but Sephora does have a lot of really good tools to be able to find your correct shade. So typically it's always spot on for me, which is nice. Also very nice packaging on this. This is what that looks like. Yeah, that looks, looks like it should work really well. So you can use this as a powder foundation or you can use it to set liquid foundation either way, but very, very pretty. Excited to try that. Also with any of these products that I haul you guys, most of them, I did get some favorites that like I use and know a lot of them are new stuff that I haven't really tried. So let me know your thoughts about any of them down below. Like, have you tried any of this stuff? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. I want to hear all the tea. Okay, next I grabbed this from a Sephora collection. This I thought was really cute. This is the Pocket Palette. They have a couple different ones of these, but I got the Copper Tones one. And I just thought this was so stinking cute. So it's just a little palette like this. You like pull it out. And then you have six different shades that you can use, a mix of mattes and shimmers. I travel a lot, so I love little palettes like this that are quick and easy to use. Um, and I thought this was really cute, like how they kind of did this, where you pull it out and then you can close it. 
and like put this around it to keep it closed. I just thought that was adorable. And these are the type of shades that I use every single day, warm tone neutrals, you guys already know that. Like I said, they do have other options in these pocket palettes as far as color stories go, but I really like this one. So I grabbed it, thought it would be great for every day and travel and stuff. And like I said, Sephora collection is 30% off during this event. So you can get this for 30% off, which is awesome. Okay, up next, ooh, I'm so excited about this. So I can't believe this is my first time getting one of these Been far too long, but I got one of the Forever Mood, which is Jackie Ina candle brand um the cuffing season one and it's weird because like when you order online obviously you don't know what it's going to smell like so it's almost it's kind of weird to order a candle online but I knowing Jackie I just knew that it was going to be like it was just going to smell good you know I just knew it so I had to get this packaging on a hundred like they look so pretty and this smells so good. Oh my gosh. I knew it was going to be good too. Oh my God. Love the packaging. To be completely honest, I picked this one specifically because I love the tan like color and everything. And I thought it looked beautiful. I'm going to put this in my downstairs bathroom where all my guests go. So it smells really nice and just looks super cute. Ooh, I'm so glad I got this. Love it. Okay. Up next, couple restocks of things that I know I love. Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. If you watch me, you know that I love this. I just use shade Seychelles and it is so good. It's my favorite cream bronzer. So I grabbed another one of these. Also grabbed another of the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. This is really nice. I like to use this. So I grabbed another one of these and also grabbed a backup of the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I love this. It is so good. Miss Selena Gomez is just over there creating bomb products. I really like her products and this is one of my faves. It's a four-in-one mist so you can use it as like a primer, a setting spray. I don't know what the other two things are honestly. I actually like to use this as a primer water before I go in with my foundation and I feel like it really helps the foundation adhere to the skin and last really well throughout the day so I absolutely love this. It's very good. Okay back to some new stuff. So up next a little splurge product um, but this is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This just looks so beautiful to me. I have so many warm tone neutrals palettes. You guys know that if you watch me like a broken record, but like, I, I mean, I like warm tone neutrals, but I feel like I don't have one specific, like more cooler toned palette that I really love. But I love when I do cooler toned looks on myself, but I feel like I just always end up doing like warm toned browns on my eyes because that's just what I have with everything. But this palette just looks so pretty to me. So I grabbed it. Ooh, and it is so pretty in person too. Oh, this is my first time like opening it up obviously on camera, but oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Just like, look at those tones. You get 15 different shades, mostly all neutrals, cool tones, just looks so, so pretty. I felt like I wanted to splurge on a little something and I just needed to have this. I just thought it was so, so beautiful. So let me know if you guys want a tutorial or anything with that, I can do that. Also grabbed another palette from Miss Fancy Rihanna. This is the Bomb Posse Mega Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. So it just looks like this. And then when you open it up, it is so beautiful. Some pinks and neutrals. This would be a really pretty like bridal palette. Like I feel like every day, like pretty soft tones. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Again, with any of this stuff, if you guys want a tutorial, let me know. I can totally do a tutorial using this, but it looks really pretty. This one, you get 12 different shade options. Okay, up next, also kind of a little bit of a splurge. This was the YSL Rouge Volonté. I, I'm not French, clearly. Like if you watch me, you already know that. Um, oil in stick, shine lipstick in the shade Chili Morocco. This just looked so pretty. YSL lipsticks are really, really nice. They aren't cheap, but I do think they are beautiful. Like just look, imagine just like pulling this out of your purse. Like it's just so pretty, just stunning. So I decided to go ahead and get this pretty kind of red shade for the holiday season, but it's more like a lip balm. Like it's still hydrating to the lips because I get definitely like dry lips during the colder winter months. But how pretty is that? Oh my God, I'm so happy with this. That looks beautiful. It's kind of like a red, but it has like those orangey undertones, which are personally the ones that I like best on myself. So I'm so excited to wear this. Ooh, so pretty. I'll save it for like a special occasion, but beautiful. Okay. Continuing on with the lippy trend. I got this. This is the Tarte H2O lip gloss in the shade Sandy Toes. This has become a lot more difficult to find, but Sephora has it. And this is my favorite lip gloss of all time. If you watch me, you know that I'm going to put some on right now. It is just the prettiest, like peachy, pinky, like, ah, uh, just so, so pretty. It gives the prettiest, glossiest, Shiny look to the lips. I absolutely love it. They changed the packaging up a little bit, but so, so pretty. So glad that Sephora had this. So grabbed that. Okay, also new, I got this. So I've seen a lot about these. I haven't tried them yet. These are the Cheek Slime Lip and Cheek Tints. So I got the shade Jam Sesh. And it's from the brand Freck. So this is what it looks like. Super cute little packaging. Squeeze a little out of my hand. 
Ooh, it looks really pigmented. Let's blend. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, okay, love that. I don't have a lot of like cheek kind of colors that are like this, so I wanted to get some deeper ones like for the winter months, and that is so pretty. So you can use it on your cheeks or your lips. It feels really, really nice, although it's not like sticky or ultra light creamy, like to the point where it's just gonna slip off. Ooh, okay, I'm really excited to try that out like on my face. Looks beautiful. Up next, okay, this product is a lifesaver. Oh my goodness, okay. So this is from First Aid Beauty. I really like their stuff. Um, this is the KP Bump Eraser Scrub. So obviously I'm wearing long sleeves today so I can't really show you, but you may have noticed in other videos of mine, um, I have like little bumps all over my arms. They're like tiny little red bumps. I've had them my whole life. They used to bother me a lot more when I was younger. Now I feel like it's just a part of me. It is what it is. This scrub worked really, really well for me. I've already gone through one tube of this, so I got another one. It has 10% AHA in it. So you basically, when I'm in the shower, I'll go and like scrub my arms with this. It's like an exfoliating scrub. So I'll scrub my arms with it for like a minute or so, and then I'll let it sit on my skin for like five minutes or whatever. I typically will use this like on the same day that I use the Olaplex mask, like the long shower day, you know, where I'm gonna be in there letting the stuff sit and really soak. Um, I'll use this too on my arms and it makes my arms feel so much smoother. It has not completely gotten rid of, it says KP, the exact like medical term I think is like keratosis pilaris or something like that. It has not completely gotten rid of it, but I definitely have seen a difference in my arms and it makes them feel much smoother, which is really nice instead of like rigid with all the little bumps. So I do really like this. So I grabbed another bottle of it because I do see that it's making a difference. Maybe eventually it will go away in total, but regardless, it definitely makes it feel much smoother, which I do like. Also grabbed these lashes. I thought these are really pretty. I don't, I think I've tried two face lashes before. They're not like necessarily really known for their lashes, but I thought these were really pretty. They're in the style dry. I'm a queen. They're kind of tapered and flared out, which I liked. So I grabbed those. Then I had to pick something up from JVN. This is Jonathan Van Ness new hairline and it's at Sephora. So I got the Nurture Deep Moisture Mask. So again, my hair needs all the nurturing and moisture and everything that it can get. So this is what it looks like. Pretty big um, container of this. And it basically says that you can use this once a week instead of conditioner and that powerful ingredients deliver healing for hair that does the most. So love that. Really, really excited. I've heard great things about his hairline. So excited to give this a try. Oh, I forgot about this little NARS lippy. I got this Power Matte Lip Pigment from NARS in the shade Bad Guy. Kind of like a pinky nude. I like the Power Matte um, lip pigments from NARS. They're really nice and they're long lasting. But this is the shade. How pretty is that? Like the perfect kind of like winter nude. A little bit deeper, a little mauve -y. But I thought this would be like a good kind of like everyday color. And they're matte but not drying, which I like. So I thought that was really pretty. Okay, two skincare products that I picked up. I got this Peace Out Acne Serum. So Peace Out makes the little like pimple patches, which I like. So I decided to try the acne serum. This has 2% salicylic acid, niacinamide, and zinc in it. So sounds like a good product ingredients wise to kind of fight acne. So let's see what it looks like. This is just what the packaging looks like. And it says it helps treat, protect, and heal blemishes in 24 hours. So that's very good. We'll see if this actually does as it says, but I liked that it said it can help to heal breakouts, but also with the post breakout dark spot. That's really what I need help with. So that's kind of why I got this because it kind of does both things. So hopefully it works. Let me know if any of you guys have tried this. Also got this from Skin Fix. This is the Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. So I actually started to use this recently and got another one. This is really, really nice. It is really, really hydrated into the skin. It doesn't have like fragrance or anything to irritate the skin. It just has like a little pump top like this. And I really, really like this. It's very nourishing, but not like irritating because I have dry skin, but my skin can also be breakout prone. So some like really moisturizing products then end up making me break out where this one really moisturizes my skin, but doesn't make me break out. So really, really love that. And grabs another one of these. Also grab this Amika Norm Core Signature Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually really like Amika products. So these are just like the signature shampoo and conditioners. Like I said, I'm always switching out my shampoo because I feel like if I use the same shampoo over and over, then my hair gets used to it. So I like to always switch it up. So my shower is like filled with different shampoos, conditioners, hair masks, all this stuff. But I like Amika stuff that I've tried and I've never tried their like signature shampoo and conditioner. So I grabbed these. I also got this original makeup eraser. I've had so many people tell me about this. It's supposed to erase all your makeup with just water. I will tell you right now, I will use this like once I use my like oil cleanser or something 
and use this with water to wash my face because it is reusable and it's antibacterial. Do I think that this is going to take away a full face of the type of makeup that I wear, which is heavy, lots of makeup? No, but I heard really good things about it. So I figured that I could use this when I'm cleansing my skin, maybe with like an oil cleanser or something to really get all of that makeup off. Cause I double cleanse my skin all the time. But even when I double cleanse my skin, then I'll go in with like a toner and I will still have like makeup on the toner pad and I'm like, what in the world? Like how many times do I have to cleanse my skin to get all this off? Um, so yeah, I decided to grab this and see maybe this will really help to get it all off. It says it lifts it out of your skin. So we'll see. Let me know if you guys have tried this, but it is very soft. Like it feels very, very nice. And then last but certainly not least, I grabbed two of these Nest fragrances. So these are the perfume oils. So I got the Seville Orange and then the Turkish Rose. So let's open them up. I feel like these are so like bougie. I like these because they're like a little different. Again, because they're perfume oils. So it's not like your typical like spray perfume. Oh my God, this one smells so good. Like I, I haven't even opened this and I can smell it already. Oh my gosh. It's just like really radiating the set out of it. I literally have not even opened it, but this is basically what it looks like. And you just use a few little drops of this oil wherever you want. You know, you can put it on your neck, your wrist, like wherever. And um, it's supposed to last like really well. And this smells so good. Oh my gosh. If you like like citrus, orangey kind of scents, really, really nice. That smells incredible. Um, and then I also got Turkish rose. I normally like rose scents. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this one's so good. This is like, I feel like so like feminine and like flirty. Love that too. Oh my gosh. Really, really nice. These also just look like beautiful on a nightstand or whatever. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna actually use them too, but they're very pretty packaging as well. So I grabbed both of those and I think that is everything. So that is everything that I got at Sephora. Be sure to shop the event, get your 20% off. I'll have everything linked down below. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products or anything you want specific reviews, first impressions on. I can totally do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.